Vida hay and the animals. In a small African village surrounded by lush forests and crystal clear rivers, there lived a boy named Vida hay. What made Vida hay special was his incredible gift he could talk to animals. He was loved by all the inhabitants of the village for his kindness and his love of nature. One day, while walking in the forest, Vidahe heard a bird singing a sad melody. He stopped to listen and, to his surprise, understood what the bird was saying. He answered instinctively, and the bird, amazed, answered him. Vidahe then discovered that he could communicate with all the animals in the forest. The once peaceful forest began to undergo disturbing changes. Rivers dried up, trees were cut down, and animals lost their habitats. The animals, desperate, turned to Vidahe for help. He decided to act and find a solution to save his friends. Vidahe went to the village elders, known for their wisdom. He told them about the problems of the forest and his special gift. The elders, impressed by his courage, gave him their blessing and some advice. They told him about an ancient forest spirit who could help him. Vidahe, accompanied by his animal friends, embarked on a quest to find the spirit of the forest. They crossed rivers, climbed mountains, and faced dangers. Their journey was long and difficult, but Vidahe's determination did not weaken. In the heart of the forest, in a magical clearing, Vidahe and his friends finally found the spirit of the forest. An ancient talking baobab named Jamela. Jamela listened to Vidahe's concerns and explained to him that to save the forest, he had to find the balance between the needs of humans and those of nature. Jamela gave Vidahe a magic seed. This seed, if planted in the right place and watered with pure water, would revive the forest and bring back balance. Vidahe and his animal friends found the perfect spot and planted the seed. They asked everyone in the village to help water and protect the young shoot. Little by little, the magical seed began to grow, transforming the patched earth into a lush forest. The rivers filled again, the trees grew back, and the animals found their habitats. The forest was saved thanks to the combined efforts of Vidahe, the animals, and the villagers. The village elders, seeing the miracle, gathered everyone together and shared an important lesson. Nature and humans must live in harmony. Videhe showed us that, through cooperation and respect for nature, we can overcome the most difficult challenges. Videhe became a hero in his village, not for his exceptional gift, but for his pure heart and his dedication. The forest prospered again, and the bonds between humans and animals strengthened. The inhabitants of the village continued to protect their environment, guided by the example of Vidahe, the child who spoke to animals.